as EMSE, Head of Mathematics Department, to the Honorable our Lecturers and Teaching Staff of Mathematics Department, to the Honorable Speaker, Mrs. Kinda Abwes PhD, Assistant Professor in Mathematics, King Faisal University, to the Honorable Moderator, Mrs. Ratna Herdiana, MSJ PhD, and all of the participants. First of all, let's say thanks to Allah, who always gives us guidance, happiness, healthiness, and mercy, so that we can attend and participate this virtual event without any obstacle. Let me introduce myself. My name is Titanul Isikoma. It's wonderful and precious opportunity for me to be your master of ceremony in this beautiful day on Wednesday, day, 20th of April, 2022, in our event, visiting lecture, in, visiting lecture with infrared filtering result for white fan signal system, Kalman filters as the topic. Next. Allow me to read the rules for our meeting this morning. First, participants are expected to join 10 minutes before the event start. Second, participants must fill in the attendance form with link shared by the, mod the operator. Third, participants are expected to turn on the camera when asking questions or providing feedback. Fourth, Participants are required to raise hand before asking and are permitted to turn the mic on after being alerted by the MC, moderator, or speaker. And the last, participants must wear polite and neat clothes and are expected to use virtual decron that has been provided by the committee. We hope that participants can cooperate so that the event can run well. Okay, in this special morning, we have several agendas. So allow me to read several sequence of our agendas. The first agenda is opening. The second is welcoming speech. The third is lecture and Q&A session. And the last one is closing. Well, now we will start the first agenda by reciting Basmalah together. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Thank you. The next agenda is welcoming speech. And now I would like to invite the Dean of Faculty of Science and Mathematics, Professor Dr. Widowati SSE MSE. To the honorable time is yours. Thank you very much for Master of Ceremony, Miss Tita Nuril Istiqomah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Excellency Dr. Tinda Yaudit, Assistant Professor Mathematics from King Faisal University. Honorable Dr. Susilo Haryanto as a head of mathematics department. Dr. Titi Ujiani as a secretary of mathematics study programs. And also Ratna Heredianya PhD as a moderator. Dear lecturer at Department of Mathematics and all participants. It is my great pleasure to cordially welcome you to the of Mathematics Department programs visiting lecturer events. First of all, let us thank Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, the most gracious and merciful God, because with His permission today, we can gather here to join together for online visiting lecturer events. My sincere gratitude, especially to Dr. Kinda, who will be today's speaker, and to all participants for their great contribution in promoting mathematics, sciences, and technology.
Sport Diponegoro University Academia. In addition, for today's lecture, the topic of the material is invariant filtering results for wedge band noise signal system, Kalman filters. It is now for us to get a direct lecture from Dr. Kinda. And I want to use this opportunity to congratulate the head of mathematics department and lecturer in choosing the best lecturer and the topics very interesting. As we know that the vision of the Faculty of Science and Mathematics is to become an excellent research faculty with international reputation in the fields of science and mathematics, as well as the development of its application. This event strongly supports our mission to prepare students who have excellence in the field of mathematics, especially on Kalman filters, and also to produce competitive graduates at the national and international level. Ladies and gentlemen, further, I want to heartily welcome all participants to this event. It is my pleasure one more time to say thank you and welcome in visiting lecturer event of Mathematics Department, Diponegoro University. I hope this visiting lecturer events can inspire many scientists to improve their research and open broader international collaboration between institutions. Last but not least, by the grace of God Almighty and consent of all participants, on behalf of Faculty of Science and Mathematics, I am as a dean hereby announce that online visiting lecturer event with the topics in variant filtering results for wedge band noise signal system, Kalman filters is open. I encourage all participants to participate actively in the interesting discussion. Hopefully, what we are doing today is useful for our progress in the future. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Professor Widowati, for delivering the opening speech. Before we begin the, to the main session, I welcome all the participants to turn on the camera and be ready for the photo session. Everyone can turn on the camera for the photo session. Okay, uh, we will start from the first slide. The photo will be taken by operator. First slide, three, two, one. Thank you. Uh, next slide, three, two, one. Okay, thank you. Next slide. Three, two, one. Okay.
Okay, thank you. Next slide. Three, two, one. Okay, thank you. Uh, next slide. Three, two, one. Okay, next slide. Three, two, one. Okay, next slide. Three, two, one. Okay, thank you. Next slide. Three, two, one. Okay, and last slide. Three, two, one. Okay, thank you so much for everyone for turning your camera and participating in the photo session. Uh, Let's skip on the next agenda, which is the main agenda. Lecture by Ms. Kinda Abwas PhD, who will be guided by Mrs. Ratna Herdiana, MSC PhD. But before that, allow me to introduce Dr. Ratna, who will be our moderator for today. Dr. Ratna is a lecturer in mathematics department Faculty of Science and Mathematics, Universitas Diponegoro. She obtained her undergraduate in mathematics 1988 from Institute Technology Bandung and her double degree in mathematics from University of Southwest in 1991 and her PhD in mathematics from University of Queensland in 2003. She has written about stability analysis of tuberculosis epidemic model with saturated infection force in 2020. Without further ado, please welcome Mrs. Ratna Herdiana, MSJ, PhD. To the honorable time is yours. Thank you very much, Ms. Tita Nuril. Very nice introduction. Um, I would like to um, greet everyone. A very good morning to everyone who has joined this um, visiting lecture uh, program. Uh, allow me to greet the Honorable Dean, Professor Widowati, um, Vice Dean, colleagues, and uh, proud students. We have 200 um, participants uh, now. Okay, um, and of course, um, a very warm welcome to Dr. Kinda Joda. Welcome back again. This is her second uh, time with us. Uh, let me introduce her first, um, her background. Miss, uh, can you help? Okay. So Dr. Kinda Joda, PhD, she's an assistant professor at the uh, it's actually basic science department, yeah, uh, in King Faisal University, uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, this is her email if you would like to contact her or discuss uh, about her um, research. Her research interest is in the general areas of control and stochastic optimization and um, fractional differential equations. Yeah. Uh, specifically, specifically, she's working on Kalman filtering, which she will um, talk about today. Her academic uh, education background, she did her Bachelor of Science in Mathematics at al Najah National University, Palestine, 2009. Uh, continue her Master of Science in Mathematics at the same university. And then she pursued her PhD uh, of mathematics at Eastern Mediterranean University, uh, Cyprus, that's um, in Turkey. Right? Her um, research was Kalman filtering for the white band noises. That's not, uh, not, far, not long ago, in 2018. Uh, for Professional or working experience before uh, joining King Faisal, she was uh, assistant professor also at Arab 
American University in Palestine. Yeah. Uh, also uh, on other universities before. Uh, she was also lecturer at the King Saud University, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Teaching um, courses, mostly she teaches analysis um, group um, courses. Yeah. Uh, she has written or published uh, numerous uh, publications, paper, um, published in uh, reputable um, journals. The recent one is um, I thought Psy Computer Logistic Population Growth Model 2021 at the uh, Journal of Mathematics. Also, population growth modeling via Riley Computer Fractional Derivative. Um, and then nonlinear Hadamard fractional boundary value problem with different orders. Okay, this, those are the recent publications. Um, she attended also international conferences. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think that is the brief uh, introduction about Dr. Kinda Abusbe. So, um, without any delay, um, please, Dr. Kinda, your you can start your um, lecture. You have until eleven thirty. Is that correct? Uh, MC. Okay, that's it. Yes. Okay, please, Dr. Kinda, you can start. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Uh, thank you for having me for the second time uh, and to give me the opportunity to um, participate in a, a such uh, interesting and um, uh, important. Uh, Do you hear me? Yes, yes. So, uh, yes. Uh, so as I said, uh, at first, I want just to thank you for having me uh, uh, for the second time. Um, I will um, share my Content at first. Okay. Are the slides uh, clear? Yes. Okay. So in 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 this lecture, uh, I will introduce one of my uh, research subjects. It is related to uh, stochastic and controllability. Uh, um, especially the Kalman filtering under white band noise. Um, in fact, uh, in this subject or in this work, uh, an invariant filtering results for white band noise signal systems were introduced. Uh, one by one, we will uh, introduce what is the meaning of invariant uh, results, what is uh, Kalman filtering, what are the type of noises that we are dealing with. Uh, one by one, everything will be uh, introduced. Uh, as an introduction uh, for this subject, uh, in fact, the estimation and the stochastic control theories employs uh, 
the white noise model of disturbing noises processes. Uh, in such a way, the Kalman filtering is the most powerful estimation method having great engineering applications. In fact, a Kalman filtering is a, a method of estimation which um, depends on the observations uh, and previous uh, uh, previous uh, entries for for the model to approach the best estimate in a very quick manner and a very quick way more even even I think it's one of the most powerful uh, estimations in this uh, place. Its application areas include guidance, uh, navigations, uh, control aircrafts and spacecrafts. Moreover, we can also use it in robotics and in forecasting, uh, in um, uh, econometrics, in telecommunications, spacecrafts, uh, in even in uh, GPS uh, systems also lots of applications uh, can be um, uh, involved in the uh, Kalman filtering uh, systems. At the beginning, uh, Kalman filtering was presented as a method for estimating linear systems dis disturbed by independent or correlated white noises. But later on, lots of different systems involving different types of noises in different cases were investigated. This map introduced um uh, uh, we will by one by one we will introduce what's the meaning of white uh, noises and other noises and the relation between those noises and the reality although the results for systems with a white Uh, excuse me, Dr. Kinder. Yes. Uh, your voice was uh, disappearing, but it's okay. okay. Now. How about now? Uh, okay. 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 As I said, uh, um, uh, dealing with the white noises uh, has lots of applications in engineering, but the problem is the real noises behave, or uh, the real noises are different, a bit different than the white noises. Uh, the white noise, in fact, is an ideal case of the noises uh, and neglecting all of the effective of all of the uh, affecting factors on the noises and the way how to conduct those noises. The ideal um, uh, case is white noise. So it's 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 normal that when we get the uh, results and the optimi optimizations, depending on these white noises, the results may be not uh, adequate as we want or as we wish or as we need sometimes. In fact, the real noises uh, behaves as a wide band noises in which they are uh, white noises, but in an ideal case. As I said, we will introduce or we will define or introduce the definition of both of those uh, uh, noises soon. Uh, dealing with white noises instead of white band noises makes the issue simpler. Respectively, for more adequate estimation, considering the wide band noise in mathematical models is required. So here we have two concepts to think about. If we will deal with just the white noise, the results may be not as adequate as, as we want. And, oops, uh, I lost the slide. Uh, could you please uh, let me uh, or give me the, the permission to uh, um, share my screen because I have a note that um, the host disabled the participant screen sharing. Mas Oki, bisa diberi izin untuk share screen? Sudah, Bu.
Okay, good. Let me try again. Yes. Okay then. So uh, the last thing that I was saying is we have two concepts. Uh, either to deal with white noise, uh, uh, white noise, sorry, or white band noises. Dealing with white noises will give us a benefit uh, that uh, the, the calculations or the, the, the work uh, with the white noise itself is simpler uh, in calculations and in, in uh, equations. But the result that we will get with using the, this white noise will be most probably a bit uh, uh, um, away from the adequate results that we want. So we need to involve the wide band noise, which is very, which is the the the, the real uh, noises that we have in in our uh, models or in reality. What can we do in such case? In this work, we will do the following. Uh, we will deal with the wideband noises, but we, in fact, we introduced a, a definition or a new definition or a new presentation for these wideband noises in terms of the white noises. So in this case, we'll be in calculations, we'll be dealing with those white noises. So we will have the, the benefits of dealing with uh, uh, respectively easy calculations it's not easy, but let me say respectively uh, re uh, related with the, the, the case of dealing with the white band noise itself. And at the same time, we'll be involve involving the white band noise itself. Okay, so perhaps a well-developed stochastic calculus that originated from the work of Ito and provides principles of working with white noises is a reason for wide use of white noises driven systems in estimation and control theory. Involve, involving the white band noise in the linear systems was investigated also. In our work here, we will use the integral representation for wide band noises, which was initiated uh, somehow depending on the white noise itself. So in this case, we have types of those uh, noises. Uh, now we have the Kalman filtering when the state and measurements noise are white and correlated. In fact, over here also you'll be introducing the classical uh, Kalman filtering, which was originated at the beginning, um, uh, depending on uh, white noises at the beginning, uh, which is, as I said, just as a reminder, uh, uh, away from the real noises. The Kalman formula were presented to, the, to describe the solution of the Kalman filter of the Kalman filter when the state and the measurements are disturbed by independent white noises. Let us look at the equation that we have here below. Uh, in fact, we have uh, at first uh, an equation for x, uh, which is given at the beginning. This equation, we call it the state equation. Okay. Uh, and the second equation in z is uh, called the measurement or observation equation. We depend on the observation equation to give a best solution or best estimate for x itself. Um, okay, let's continue. Independency of the y and over here in this system that we have over here, the, the, the noises that are affecting the state and the measurements, they are correlated and from the type of white. Okay. Uh, let us just continue. Independency of the white noises means that the source that affect the state and the measurement systems are independent, but reality, uh, 
sorry, they are dependent, sorry for this uh, mistake, but reality attains that may uh, the same source affect both systems, which means that the noises are correlated. So, for example, if I want to um, do optimization or an estimation for, uh, sorry, estimation for a specific, um, um, uh, a specific model, um, I depend on observation to uh, get a best estimation. The type of the noises that are affecting the state and the observation are considered over here in this system to be to be correlated. Okay, this will give us or this will be uh, let us be uh, close to the reality which attains that the noise that are that uh, noises that are affecting the state and the uh, measurements uh, may be correlated and may the noise may uh, comes from the same source uh, of uh, noises um, now kalman filtering has a generalization to this case for this the following system describes this uh, the case that we mentioned over here, as you see over here, this, this is the system which describes the uh, case that we have. Now we will just, um, let me just go back a little bit to the system over here. We have A, um, A of T uh, multiplied by X of T. We have B multiplied by W or omega. We have h of t multiplied by x uh, plus v uh, of t. W and v presents the um, noises that uh, affecting the state and the observation. Uh, as you see, the observation over here said depends on x itself and uh, gives us a new uh, observation that we will use it in the next uh, estimate for x itself and so on so in kalman filtering we have input this input is depending on the observation at this place plus the previous uh, value for the x itself this is how simply how it works we can go ahead to explain or to maintain the, the that we have inside the uh, equation we a B and H that are appearing in our system are matrix value fun function on zero infinity, X zero, which is the initial case or the initial uh, condition is a Gaussian random vector with, with zero mean. Uh, w and omega are the white noises processes that are affecting the, uh, the state and the uh, observations. They must be of respective dimensions, of course. Also, we consider that x0, which is the Gaussian, the Gaussian random vector that we have in the initial case, and the noises that are affecting our system, all of them are independent. Uh, and just w and v, which are the noises themselves, they are correlated in this case. For this, we will introduce the correlation between them, which is uh, uh, rho is given as uh, you see, which is the expectation of W uh, times the transpose of uh, V itself. As we said, uh, P is the, corre the correlation coefficient of W and V. Uh, note that the correlation coefficient is same as the covariance since both of W and V are uh, white uh, noises uh, processes. The continuous Kalman filtering with independent noises is a particular case considering that R is zero. If we consider that R over here is zero, so we will get the uh, independent case of Kalman filtering. Uh, in such case, the correlation be in this case covering also the classical case which were cons was which was considered to have um, uh, the uncorrelated um, noises for the state and the observation itself. So this case can be considered also as a, gener a generalization uh, for the for the uh, classical case of Kalman filtering. 
it is assumed that R is a non-zero general in general, and um, W of T equals to uh, V of T. Uh, this attains that uh, rho will be I times delta of T, which is uh, the delta function, depending on delta function. So. that both of the noises affecting the state and the uh, observation will be the same. Uh, try the best estimates after uh, solving those uh, systems, the best estimate uh, is in uh, the following two uh, equations. Uh, I think someone raised uh, his hand. Any questions in this step? Okay. Okay. For uh, this uh, problem was given in, in the uh, so this equation, I think the, uh, the solution of this equation would be the best estimate for uh, our problem and the covariance of the error will be given as a solution of this uh, Riccati equation. Um, it is a, a bit complicated to uh, maintain all, the, all of the details, all of the details by just looking at it one. We may uh, consider to starting uh, point to introduce the the wide band uh, noise definition as I said before. We start by introducing the VVA process, which is a natural model of Brownian motion. It describes a random but continuous motion of the particles. Uh, as example for the Brownian motion, we can consider uh, the particles of gas. Or or particles of water, uh, somehow they are, the motion of the particles is uh, describing the, the Brownian, is a good example uh, to describe the Brownian motion. It is, as I said, random, continuous motion uh, of the particles. Uh, the derivative of linear process does not exist in the reality or in the ordinary sense. Uh, uh, white noise now is a general derivative of the linear process. In fact, it is, as I said, it is the derivative of linear process in the noise. It does not exist, but of course it's a model to be, uh, and we call it an incomplete derivative. This derivative is uh, defined in the white field. We can prove it or introduce it in the following way over here. The phi t is the uh, Minus epsilon and wt divided by t, then the length of the increment will be uh, epsilon. And um, this will be a definition for the um, uh, white noise. If epsilon will be a bit large, so um, it's not possible for, as I said, to force the derivative to be something or to consider it as an. Uh, if you give five, uh, uh, five behaves as a white noise with covariance function, give it as so the covariance function. Excuse me, Dr. Kinda. Sorry to interrupt. Your voice huh? is uh, uh, Is it okay Mr. now? Kinder. Is it okay now? Yeah, it's on off, like um, maybe your microphone. Or sometimes okay. it's. Uh, Okay. okay, as I said, the last thing I was saying that uh, phi behaves, phi, which is the uncompleted derivative of the Wiener process, uh, behaves as a white noise with covariance function given in the following way, which is delta, which is the covariance between phi t plus uh, sigma and phi t. 
it can be introduced in the uh, following way, uh, which will be after uh, several steps introduced as I uh, times epsilon minus sigma divided by epsilon squared, where I is the identity matrix with respective dimension. Okay, generally the white band uh, noise is a random process that um, its values within a small time uh, interval are correlated. A random process which is given uh, in phi, which is given uh, defined from uh, zero uh, infinity cross omega to Rn is said to be n dimensional wide band noise if the covariance in a specific, in a small interval, uh, uh, the covariance is not zero. Otherwise it will be zero. This means that if we have two uh, specific values for the um, um, specific values with a, a, a small distance between them, they must be correlated. Otherwise the uh, 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 covariance can be zero outside this uh, small uh, interval. Starting from the given definition of white noise the, and under the general conditions of uh, a Gaussian white band noise uh, can be represented as uh, the integral of uh, a deterministic function we, which is given over here. And this uh, uh, presentation of the wide band noise is given as uh, our called as uh, the integral rep representation for the wide band noise. And this function uh, phi, capital phi is uh, called as relaxing or damping function, uh, which will solve the problem that we have in the lower uh, limit of the uh, integral that we have over here in the definition. Over here, this function phi is depending on the um, uh, autocovariance function uh, delta and phi itself. So it is somehow depending on the, uh, the noise, the white band, the white noise that we have at the beginning. Now let's introduce the meaning of the invariance. Generally, generally, uh, in applications, wide band noises can be measured by the autocovariance and the uh, cross covariance functions uh, if they are different. Um, um, and they are obtained as a result of estimation um, commonly, we use the series analysis of, of large data. Besides, there are infinitely many relaxing functions, phi uh, producing infinitely many wide band noises with the same autocovariance function, delta. These properties are of the difficulties of working with, band, with wide band noises. The idea is as follows. We will have for, the, for a specific wide band noise, we will have uh, infinitely many relaxing functions that we are using in the definition or in the integral uh, presentation of the uh, noise itself. And for each one of this relaxing function, we have uh, we have also uh, uh, different wide band noises. For each one of those uh, relaxing function, a specific wide band noise, all of them are related or, uh, or, or uh, let me say, related with the same autocovariance function. So which one of those uh, wide band noises will give me the best estimate? So in this st stage, we will think about finding a, a class of best estimates that we can have one best estimate for all of these best estimates to introduce or to or to be um, presented for, related with the wide band noise that with the uh, noises or the system that we have depending on the previous feature of filtering of the filtering of wide band noise driven systems accounts the following problem the problem is given an autocovariance function there are infinitely many wide band noises processes which have 
this autocovariance function, each one of these wideband noises produces its own best estimate. The problem is the selection of the best estimates of all of these best estimates. So we will have a class of, um, we call it an optimal class, which is uh, in, uh, including all of the best estimates that will uh, be used as a solution for the system that we introduced in uh, the Kalman filtering um, system. That is why it is important to obtain filtering results in terms of the autocovariance, autocovariance function rather than the relaxing function, because such results constructs an optimal filters based just on the known autocovariance function. Another thing to mention here is that the relaxing function is unknown, but the autocovariance function is known. And by getting an an uh, an optimal an optimal by getting a, a best estimate depending on the autocovariance function we will get some somehow optimal filter which uh, will uh, um, be uh, solving the problem of having multi um, optimal solutions depending on different relaxing functions relay all of them related to the same autocovariance functions so this type of, result, of results called the invariant results. Now let us first present the non-invariant Kalman filter for one wideband noise to be able to maintain the main differences between, uh, between the invariant and the non-invariant results. Over here, we have the um, uh, signal system, which is introduced as you see over here. Okay, uh, phi one is uh, white uh, white band noise. Also, uh, uh, phi one is in, introduced by using the um, uh, integral representation using the white noise itself. The measurements is given as in the equation here as z. The phi two is the uh, white band noise which uh, corrupt the uh, observation system. Phi two is given uh, as uh, an in uh, integral representation in the following way, using the relaxing function phi two and phi one using the relaxing function phi, phi capital one. So <clears throat> over here we have information about epsilon and psi. Uh, all of them are constants. Uh, phi one and phi two, the relaxing functions are differentiable uh, on the interval minus epsilon zero and minus uh, psi zero, respectively, with values in the measurements space satisfying that phi one of minus epsilon is zero and phi two also is zero at the starting point. The Kalman filter equations for this system can be presented as. This is the solution, or this is the equation that its solution will give me the uh, best estimate for our case. Uh, and over here we have uh, two supporting uh, equations, as you see over here, one of them for phi one, uh, which is the uh, white band noise, which is affecting the signal. The second one um, for the white band noise, which is affecting the uh, observation system. Um, over here, uh, if two wide by noises, phi one and phi two, are given by a covariance function delta and sigma, and also by the cross covariance function pi, then still there are many pairs of relaxing functions phi one and phi two. Therefore, modeling of wide by noises in the integral uh, form requires making a proper selection a selection among infinitely many pairs of relaxing functions. This raises the importance of obtaining the results which are independent on the infinite variations of relaxing functions, but dependent on the unique autocovariance and cross-covariance function. And also the autocovariance and the cross-covariance functions, they are known functions from the beginning uh, of the um, a problem or from the point that we are setting the problem up. Now let us consider the uh, wide band noise uh, in the real process 
as we said, it is uncompleted derivative in the uh, as we mentioned previously. <coughs> so um, um, we modified we modified the uh, um, uh, uh, the representation of the white band noise. So we introduce it as you see over here in this form. Uh, this formula uh, is very useful uh, in the application. And um, the most important thing that the covariance calculations formula for the stochastic, for the stochastic uh, integrals uh, implies that uh, the autocovariance function also can be presented in the following manner in an integral representation, which will be also useful in solving the systems later. Um, now let's just uh, concentrate or go to the uh, setting, uh, the problem that we will be uh, concentrating on in uh, the work that we are mentioning over here. Uh, we will consider the partially observable linear system, which is given as you see over here. Um, this is the signal. The first one is, this, is the signal uh, uh, process, and the second one gives the observation uh, where X and Z, both of them are vector val valued signal and observation processes. All of A capital B capital and C uh, are matrices with respective uh, uh, dimensions. Zeta is a vector valued. Uh, Gaussian random variable with expectation equal to zero. U and V are standard linear processes. And over here, as you see, the derivative of those linear processes will be uh, the noises that affecting our uh, system. We assume that phi one and phi two are white uh band noises accepting the integral representation the representation it's good here to mention that not all of the white band noises accepts the integral representation so in this problem we are just involving the white band noises that are accepting the integral representation okay um um and uh we have the integral representation for phi one and phi two, the white band noises that we have, the integral representation of each one of them depends as you see over here on the relaxing function for the noise itself. Um, while uh, those two functions, the relaxing functions that we have, as we said, they are unknown, differentiable relaxing functions with square integrable uh, derivatives, satisfying the following two, conditions. Instead, the autocovariance functions uh, delta sigma of phi 1 and phi 2 together with the cross covariance function pi of t and um, theta, all of them are known from the beginning. The random variable zeta and the process u, v, and w are also all assumed to be mutually independent. The dimensions of all of these vectors are um, given as uh, respectively. The aim, our aim is to derive invariant results for the best least square estimate uh, to our system or to our uh, signal depending on the observation or given the, ob the observations that we have. Uh, let me just mention again that we have uh, delta. As I said, uh, the benefit of this representation is uh, that we will be able also to have integral representation for the autocovariance and the cross covariance, as you see over here, for the autocovariance for phi one, for the autocovariance for phi two, and for the cross covariance for both of the uh, noises, we have those uh, integral representations for them. As it was mentioned previously, the knowledge of delta, sigma, and pi does not imply a unique pair of 
there are infinitely many such pairs. There are infinitely many pairs of relaxing functions uh, that we may get for the same uh, autocovariance functions. The essence of the invariant Kalman filtering for the given problem consists of finding its equation in terms of uh, delta, sigma, and pi, and demonstrating that these equations do not change for the different pairs of phi one and phi two. So whatever we will, whatever the relaxing uh, functions or the pairs of the relaxing functions that we have, the uh, equations or the solutions uh, of uh, our system will be the same for all of these pairs of relaxing functions whenever we have the same uh, covariance, autocovariance and cross-covariance functions. This is the first theorem or the first re result that we have. Under the conditions stated before in the previous section, um, there exists a unique solution. This unique solution is given uh, as six uh, or a set of six equations. Uh, each one of those equations will give me a solution which, which introduces a, a specific part of the system itself. We will have. Let's go one by one through those equations. At first, we will have, uh, let's uh, give the, the system itself. We have over here, which is which introduced the the uh, the equation for the standard error at the end of the uh, at the end when we get the, the solution or the estimate itself. This is the equation. Uh, Your voice is gone. Is it okay now? Ah, okay. Okay, I, I was just introducing the second part of the differential equations that we have in our system. As you see here, we have uh, a set of five equations. Each one of them is related to one of the parts of the uh, equation or the system uh, that we have at the beginning. Those are the initial and boundary conditions for the previous equations, which are mentioned in, in two in this one. Okay, uh, for this solution, there exists a unique solution, which is x hat uh, together with psi one and psi two of the system consisting of the linear stochastic ordinary uh, equation and the partial equation, which is given in four. So we will have the uh, equation or the, the equation that will give me the best estimate is given in equation number three over here, okay? And uh, uh, xi1 and xi2 will be given as a solution for the uh, partial equations, the, the pair of partial equations in uh, four. I will just go through those all of these equations and then one by one and I will uh, mention uh, a summary how to uh, enter those uh, equations inside each other. Um, also, the differential equation with zero initial boundary condition, uh, those initial boundary condition are related to equation number four. And we have also uh, equation number five, which is uh, the equation which is related to the uh, observation. Um, the process x uh, hat equals to the best the best least square estimate in the filtering problem one and uh, has the uh, error estimation which is given uh, over here which will be the transpose of pt pt is the 
solution of the equation, which is given over here. This is B, okay? Okay, so if we will go through the uh, equations again, one by one, you will see that inside equation four, inside equation four, we have a, 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 a presentation, let me say, for uh, phi one and phi two, which are the white, uh, the white band noises that we have in our, uh, in our system. Uh, those two equations, they are affecting uh, the equation three, as you see, and the second equation will affect um, five. Look, look at this over here. This is an equation. After we solve it, we'll get uh, xi one. This xi one will be distributed here in equation three inside the uh, best estimate, the equation of the best estimate. And the second part of equation four, which is for phi two, will be used as entry in five to give the, uh, the observation over here, to give the observation, okay? And um, after that, Let's go back to equation number one. Equation number one is a modification for Decati equation that will give me at the end, the solution of it will give me at the end the, uh, uh, the um, P, P itself, the, the, the matrix P, which will give me the error at the end as the transpose for it, okay? Uh, equation number two, let's go equation number two. Equation number two, Mm. We have the first two equations in equation number two. We have Q and M. We will use them in as entries to equation, look to equation number four. We will use the first two equations in, in, in system two to, in, to substitute over here in equation four to find phi one and phi two to submit or to substitute them again in three and five. As you see, it's uh, recursive, okay? Let's go back to equation number two to maintain all of the things that we have. The uh, R and N also will be used, will be used in, In two also, in finding two. See over here we have N. We will also use it here. And the last two, uh, let me go again back to two. And S, S which is uh, an equation that will be used or substituted to give the innovation in the first equation of part uh, four. I, I don't know, as you see, it is a, a bit long equation. So I try just to uh, maintain where should we put each one of those uh, parts after getting the solution of each one, uh, where do we uh, substitute them? Okay. Now, the white noise Kalman filtering consists of two equations for the best estimates, x hat and the Riccati equation. So the solution will at the end uh, be given explicitly or uh, um, uh, simply uh, to introduce x hat and Riccati equation. x hat to give the solution itself, Riccati equation to give the error uh, the error of estimation, and all of the other uh, equations will be used to get those two things, okay? In case of the uh, of additional wide band noises as they appear in, in equation one, these equations need uh, adjustments to produce the best estimate. Additional equations in four and two also, uh, they have the same things. Uh, the same um, uh, duty or the same use uh, as we said. Um, 
The process Z bar defined by five is the innovation process in the filtering problem one. Um, okay, in this slide, it's just a summary that we just mentioned how to use all of the equations and to substitute them inside each other or to use them. Um, now, the wide band noise Kalman filtering from theorem one is independent on the relaxing function phi one and phi two. Uh, it is dependent on the octocovariance function. Let us just go to the solution for it to see clearly that we don't have any of the relaxing functions. Look here, all of those equations that we have over here, we don't have or we don't see any of the relaxing functions, phi one or phi two. We can just see all of the entries, uh, matrices, a, P, R, M, C, R, Q, all of them, they are known. And also we can see um, pi, as you see, which is the cross covariance. We can see uh, pi over here, as you see, cross covariance, which is known. We can see sigma, which is the uh, auto covariance for the second um, one, the second uh, wide band noise. This is pi again. Everything else is known. Uh, none of the entries that we have is uh, unknown. Everything is going well. Even here in the other equations, as you see, we have phi, we have uh, sigma. Uh, everything is going uh, in the right <coughs> in the right way. Even the equation here, as you see, everything is known. So this is the benefit to uh, have a solution depending on the known autocovariance and cross covariance function, uh, which is given for the wide band noises that we have or that are corrupting our systems. Uh, uh, as we said, the, the equation uh, or the solution is, depends, is depending on the autocovariance functions, uh, delta, sigma, and pi, which are exactly the parameters available in applications from observations. This implies that the autocovariance and the cross-covariance function of, dis, uh, of disturbing wide band noises are sufficient for uh, the filter uh, from the theorem that we have. And this is the meaning of invariance that we are concentrating in, on in our uh, work here. Mm, now we will introduce uh, numerical aspects. In fact, the, the case that we uh, mentioned before was introducing a continuous Kalman filtering, um, which can be uh, introduced or can be discretized depending uh, on the information that we have and in, 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 a in a specific way. In fact, it is somehow something that it's not ready yet. Uh, and we, it is something which is uh, which can be uh, considered as a future work. I'm uh, working on it, uh, but it's not ready yet. Um, uh, let's just introduce it. This, the stated theorem carries into the into practice a long-term mathematical investigations on uh, estimation under wideband noises. Therefore, it is appropriate. Uh, sketching uh, a scheme demonstrating how a filter from theorem can be numerically realized. Convert the, con the, the, the continuous arguments T to discrete by considering the zero is T zero and to consider T one, T two, T three as and, uh, and so on. And also we will uh, convert the theta itself, which is uh, given in the system to also a discrete case uh, starting from minus epsilon to zero. Uh, and we will, for simplicity, simplicity, assume that Tn plus one minus Tn equals to uh, phi m uh, minus phi m plus one. Let's, uh, we will consider that the, the in increments are uh, constants between the, um, the points that we have or the, uh, the signals that we have. And uh, the equations, our equations also, we will uh, rename uh, them in the following way, as you see over here. Um, and we'll assume that sigma and pi are given uh, autocovariance and cross-covariance functions related to the wide band noises, phi one and phi two. 
we will give also P, Q, and M, and N, and S. We will give them uh, ready in the computer, uh, calculating and calculated in the computer, and everything related to those matrices will be easily calculated. Okay. Um, uh, implicitly, U, V, and W depends on delta and R. Uh, delta is given. Uh, R will be um, in the computer served or reserved in the computer. Uh, as well, they do not appear in the preceding uh, equations, then three can be written. Then we can introduce the best estimate, the equation of the best estimate x hat in the following way. It is uh, written now in, in the discrete case, as you see. And for simplicity, as we said, instead of saying x hat of t, and we will just say xn, we'll use the same manner in all of the, uh, all of the details that we have in the equation, and then we will use this, that we may need it later in, in to write the recurrence relation or the recurrence equation. The equation three can be converted to the discrete form in the following way. We will have xn plus one equal hat equals to xn hat plus some other terms. Okay, so uh, this will let us be able to uh, uh, give um, results at a specific stage depending on the previous best estimate. So best in estimate, then in another stage best estimate and so on. So uh, quickly it will be approaching to the uh, final best estimate uh, for the system at all. Here, the input of the filter is Z n prime. Therefore, we need only to determine to, to, to determine the formula for phi one and phi two uh, because they are embedded inside the uh, equations of Z and X hat, um, such that X hat uh, of n plus one can be calculated on the basis of uh, uh, X hat, X n hat, as you see in the equation over here. Um, we will need phi one, phi two, and the previous x hat. All of these a, h, u, c, all of them will be uh, valid in the computer and they will be used uh, and retrieved when needed. Uh, it can be fulfilled in two L steps by discretization of the equation in four. Note that the number of those steps uh, decreases to 2n if n is between uh, 0 uh, and 1. Also, the first equation in 4 can be discretized in the following way. The second equation in the equation uh, 4 will be also discretized in the following way, as you see over here, um, which means that for going from calculations of xn hat to calculations of xn plus one, there are minimum l and n uh, steps for finding phi uh, two, and then the same for phi one. After that, we'll need an extra step to find the z itself and another step to find the xn plus one, depending on xn hat and zn itself. <coughs> Over, over here, we have a diagram which introduces how, how it works in the discrete case. Uh, uh, in the middle here, we have x hat. This is the way of x hat uh, of approximating or of, uh, of, of estimating x hat itself. Let's consider that we are in this uh, case. We want to find this specific value x hat, this one. In fact, we will need, we will need phi one and phi one will uh, need the previous phi one for it. And also we will need uh, the previous phi two and phi two, uh, we need phi two and phi two itself will need the previous phi two. And we will need from here, from the previous step, we'll need the previous x hat plus z itself, which is the observation. By all of these information, we can go to the next step.
So this is this diagram can uh, uh, express the, the method simply how it works. Uh, Z uh, uh, star is given uh, over here. This is the, the way how to get Z. So as I said, for this step, or for, um, yes, we can say for this step, we will need the previous phi one, um, uh, phi one and the previous phi one, phi two, the previous phi two, we will need the previous x, uh, x hat and we will need z uh, observation itself to get the new estimate. Okay, a special cases. In fact, the stated theorem can be considered as a generalization form for the invariant Kalman filter filtering linear signal system, uh, such as invariant Kalman filtering under wideband noise in the case when the noises are independent or invariant Kalman filtering when the signal and the measurements noises are some of independent uh, white noises and white band noises. So it's a general case that can cover more than one case uh, as we mentioned here. Finally, some remarks about the wideness of the invariance of the filter from the given theorem are made. It is proved that the invariance of the signal of wideband noise phi one can be extended at least in a special case to all square integrable relaxing functions phi one, but its proof method is not extendable to the invariance of the observation of wideband noise phi two which still remains within the differentiable relaxing functions, phi two, with square integrable derivatives and uh, phi two of minus epsilon must be zero. So for the case of phi one, we can uh, have uh, just the square uh, integrable relaxing functions, it can work for them, but for, the, for phi two, we have more conditions as, as you saw. While it is uh, questionable, uh, it may be possible to, uh, the existence of wideband noises which have a given autocovariance functions but no integration integral representation as i said not all of the wideband noises have integral representation um, is it possible to have uh, invariant results for such type of wideband noises in fact we think yes it can be uh, but um, at that time or at that place we will be working with the uh, specific or the special issues uh, which are related to the to such type of wideband noises. Um, as I said, although it is not proved yet, we think that our uh, theorem extends to uh, them uh, if exists any as well. But ordinary logic says that if there is uh, no any arguments about the selections of wideband noise of wideband noises with a given autocovariance functions, why not to choose that? or well, that one or runs uh, with which everything, uh, everything goes well. Uh, now we will, uh, I will just introduce um, uh, some uh, projects that they are ongoing and they are related to uh, this uh, subject, which is Kalman filtering, especially and generally the stochastic and controllability. Uh, in fact, I have one project, uh, it is a ready article sub submitted to um, uh, a journal. Um, uh, the, pr the, the project uh, can be summarized in the following way. Recently, as it is demonstrated that the modification of the Kalman filtering model with pointwise delay of the signal noise could improve communications with uh, considerably distant spacecraft. However, a complete and correct derivation of equations of the Kalman filter type um, uh, for this case is not provided yet. In this project, um, uh, we investigate a completion um, of this gap. The method of derivation is based on a passage from distribution delay pointwise by mean of delta function. The derived equations um, uh, constitute a, a system of first order partial differential equations with an initial and boundary uh, conditions. And we have another project also, 
um, in, this in, in this project, the aim is to formulate the system of fuzzy stochastic fractional evolution equations. As I said, in fact, I'm working in, in two fields of mathematics. One of them is stochastic and the other one is uh, fractional. And since uh, two years, uh, one of my aims was just to join the stochastic with fractional and this is uh, this result is, uh, can be considered as the first uh, result in such case or in, in such direction. Uh, um, the aim is to formulate the, the system of fuzzy stochastic fractional evolution equations driven by fractional Brownian motion. Uh, we try to find a result about, about existence and uh, uniqueness of the formulated system uh, and uh, also the uh, in, in exponential stability of the solution is uh, also uh, investigated. Um, this project has uh, have applications in financial mathematics and uh, uh, the expected results play a vital role in increasing number of system models in hydrology, telecommunications, queuing theory, mathematical finance, lots of other applications. Uh, also, uh, several on ongoing projects in fractional differential equations are under uh, consideration. Um, I hope to have uh, the chance again to introduce them uh, again. Uh, and I, uh, this is the end. I thank you for uh, listening and for your time. If you have any questions and uh, any comments, feel free. Oh, okay, thank you very much, Dr. Kinda. Um, I very interesting, inspiring um, lecture. Uh, it's quite heavy for students, I think. <laughs> but I think, um, yeah, we should move now to fractional differential equations, maybe, because um, uh, still the paper is uh, ordinary yeah. differential equations. Yeah. So, uh, so um, any questions from the audience? Please raise your hand for any direct questions. Doctor, but just give me one second. I I will just connect my charger. Sorry for uh, that. Yes. Sure. Yes. Okay. Um, there is a question at the in the chat box from uh, Mr. Pandi. I'm sorry. Thank you uh, for the interesting lecture. I Maybe the, uh, Mr. Pandi, if you are here, would you like to ask directly? Thank you very much, Dr. Kinda Boswe, for the very interesting lecture. I want to come across an article related to the common filter application to estimate the parameters of Cox Ingersoll Ross or CIR stochastic interest rate I, I model. Cannot, I cannot hear you. Sorry, can you hear me now? I cannot hear well. The voice is a bit uh, noisy. Uh, That's what went noise. Yes. <laughs> the question is in the chat box if you, you can read also. Again, Dr. Pandi. Okay. I repeat my questions. Uh, I once uh, came across an article related to the common filter application. In estimating the parameters of Cox Ingersoll Ross or CIR stochastic interest model using MATLAB. Now, 
the question is, is, is there any other application of the common filter in finance? Is there any other application of the common filter? In fact, there, there are some applications in, in finance, uh, but uh, for me, I didn't concentrate on, on them. I didn't uh, go to, um, to investigate it, especially uh, which type of, of uh, applications that we can use for finance. There is, yes. So, um, can I add, uh, this Kalman filter, this is an, an algorithm, right, to, to filter the noise. Yes, it is so a system can... which, will, which will reduce the noise, get rid of the noise, one by one, step by step, until uh, approaching the best estimate in a very quick manner. This is uh, simply, we can say. Uh, okay, Dr. Fandi, you want to okay, thank you. comment uh, for the explanation? We have. Okay, the next uh, question here from uh, Mr. Nur Cahya. Would you like to uh, ask the question directly? Yes. yes. Uh, if the noise in general are not, uh, I'm sorry, uh, you can hear my sound. Yes, yes, uh, Dr. Kina, you can hear. Hello, check. Dr. Kinda, can you hear? Yes, you I, hear, hear, I hear you now. If the noise in general are not white noise, in all cases, what kind of white pen replacement with white noise has the worst effect? And maybe can be explained how to handle it. Thank you. If so I hear if I hear you in the right way, you asked what kind of other noises rather than the white noise can be used in this system? Yes. This is this is what you hear, what you asked. Uh, if the in general the noise is not white noise, uh, what kind of white pen replacement with white noise? Uh, which has the worst effect and maybe can be explained how to handle it. In fact, uh, I cannot hear you well. Your uh, voice is just... My question in, is there is in the message box in Zoom. In the chat box. So uh, his question is uh, if in general um uh, uh, if the noise in general are not white noises what kind of white band noise replacement um uh, with the white noise has the worst effect what kind of white band noise that replace the white noise that has the worst effect and how do you handle it so is there a, a what then if i heard if i heard well if if we if we don't have in general white uh, noises and we have white band noises uh, uh, one of the uh, okay in fact reality will give us a, a, a something which a specific type of error okay and if we have uh, a white uh, band noises uh, in in this case the reality will be giving us a, a, a chance to um,
Kenapa? Halo, Dokter Kinda. Something wrong. luar ya? Yeah, collection, close connection. Oh. You lost her. Sinyalnya mulai lemes bu, puasa. Halo <laughs> <laughs> Pak. Ada. Ya bu, Ini maaf bu, baru makanan. baru cuy. <laughs> Ya, eh, topiknya Pak Susilo. Halo. Halo.
Do you hear me now? Is my voice? Ah, okay. Yes. Yes, yes, we can hear you. Okay, um, I think because time is... Uh, is there any more questions from the audience? Uh, uh, yeah, we would like to um, also see applications of this um, the environment, invariant uh, results that you um, uh, develop or propose. Yeah, um, that's interesting. So this uh, white band noise can be applied to any I, uh, system, right? I cannot uh, uh, hear your voice well. I have cut in your voice. So I think, um, should we just uh, close this? Uh, uh, the session. Um, so I would like to uh, let us join to um, give applause to Dr. Kinda Joda for her interesting um, uh, lecture. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry that um, there's uh, technical issues. We yeah. uh, program. So thank you very much, Dr. Kinda Joda. Uh, we hope that uh, one day we can uh, again uh, invite you to give uh, more interesting uh, topics. Um, so back to the MC, Ms. Tita. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Ms. Ratna Herdiana, MSC PhD, for guiding us through the discussion session. And also thank you for our speaker, Mrs. Kinda Abuaspe PhD, for a very insightful presentation and a wonderful discussion. Okay. I would like to remind all of the participants to fill in the attendance that has been shown. I thank you by too for giving me the opportunity. Okay. By the, moder by the operator in a chat box. And the next agenda is giving a certificate and thank you note to our honorable speaker, Mrs. Kinda Abbas PhD, by head of, head of mathematics department, Dr. Susila Haryanto, SSE, MSE. So the honorable time is yours. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, everyone. Respectable the chair lady of Science Mathematics Faculty, Prof. Widowati, the Honorable All Lecture of Mathematics Department, and the Honorable All Participants of this seminar, and also honorable to the speaker of our seminar today, Dr. Kinda from King Faisal University. Good morning, Dr. Kinda. Good morning. Thank you for your time. I to thank you too. To I thank you too. Our visiting lecture. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Susilo Haryanto. I am the head department of mathematics program in Science Mathematic Faculty. I am very pleased to see you here on this visiting lecture. Alhamdulillah, praise to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. First, let's give the applause for the speaker and for you all. Thank you for joining this seminar, and we hope that this seminar bring many up advantages for our for us insyaallah thank you for thank you very much for all your attention in this visiting lecture thank you very much for the team that prepare this event very well so this event can be well organized and also well done and also thank you very much for the speaker of this seminar dr kinda for presentation uh, Dr. Kinda King, from King Faisal University for presentation and the topic or matter was delivered is very good and we hope 
that all of the participants can get the good understanding of the topic. We hope that in the other time, we can have a such forum like this. Now, let me to invite Dr. Kinda Jaudeh to receive speaker certificate. Uh, please. Eh. Yeah. Please committee to prepare the virtual certificate. Oh, yes. Please, Dr. Kinda Jaudeh to accept that certificate. Okay, thank you. No. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Now we reach the end of this visiting lecture with the topic invariant filtering results for wide band noise signal system. And we hope that the relation and this collaboration program will not stop until this event only, but we hope that in the next time it can be continued. Okay, I think it is enough. I will close this seminar with Alhamdulillah and happy fasting for us. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Dr. Kinda. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kinda. Good morning. Okay, thank you, Dr. Suswila, for delivering thank you note. And uh, I would like to say thank you to all of guests and participants for attending today's visiting lecture. And thank you for the active participation and also attention during the session. I, as the Master of Ceremony, representing the entire committee, apologize for any mistreatment presenting on this event. I would like to say thank you again to all the participants, speaker, and the moderator. See you again on the next visiting lecture. Good morning and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih semuanya. Bye. Bye.